moment. I'm sorry. Give him to me. Oh, Debbie? I, I asked you to hold him, not hand him to any old person that walked in. I'm not any old person. I'm his nana. Well, you just stay away from him, OK? Do you understand me? Debbie, I'm sorry about in the pub before. I didn't know I was doing anything wrong. I just wanted to help Marlon. OK. Well, it won't happen again. Well, that's the thing. I was hoping that it would. You know, if you need Moses babysitting any time. I'm sorry. Well, you can't work while you've got him, can you? And I used to look after him a lot in the early days, and, well, I'm free. Well, I'll bear that in mind. If you must know, it would be more of a favour to me. Oh. Oh, you're actually serious? I would be only too happy. No, I just mean after you made it so clear what you think about mine and Ross's relationship. Yeah, well... It's none of my business, is it? And you made Chaz's life hell. Debbie. Yeah, here you are, thinking everything's fine, wanting to look after the baby. You do know that she sent me a letter saying how sorry she was. I mean, if she can let it go, why can't you? Because you've got a couple of screws loose. He's Ross's child, not yours. And when he gets back, he'll decide who gets to see the baby anyway. We'll see.